Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Somebody asked me via email to review some of the basic shortcut or accelerator keys that I use in Wireshark. So I thought, why not? Good idea. So within Wireshark, first thing I want to show you is some of the file shortcut keys. When you need to open a file, instead of going to Alt F for file and then O for open, you'll notice there's a shortcut key Control O. So that's one way to figure out which keys um, are the accelerator keys, just by going to the menu longhand the first time. And after that, to do this, just simply control O, and you'll see your files. And there you go. That's how we open a file. If you want to close a file, control W will close the file. If you want to save a file, it would be control S. That's pretty well it for files. Now to go to your preferences, control shift P. And the, the other way of typically doing this would be to go to Edit and Preferences. And then you would end up with the same screen here. And I'm typically going to Preferences a lot when I have to set protocol settings or if I need name resolution changes or column layouts, that type of stuff. So it's quite common to go to your Preferences. Next one we're going to take a look at is Capture. Because if you're not opening a file, you're probably capturing a file. So here we go. We've got our adapters here on the side. Uh, if you don't know which adapter does what, in my case I've got Microsoft, 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 and I don't know which one is my wireless, for example, you typically go to Capture Interfaces. Well, the shortcut key for that would be Control-I for Interfaces. And when you do that, let me just pull this guy down here, you will see your interfaces. And you can use your IP address and the packet counter as a way of figuring out which adapter does what. In my case, this dot 100 IP address would be my wireless adapter and from there I can go to options and so on and so on and so on so control I is a good one for the interfaces now if you know exactly what you want to do you can go straight to the capture options screen with a control K and that will take you here and then again you can select which adapter you want to work with and set that up accordingly the big one is capture start or stop and that's control E. E is an echo and when you do that there you go it's gonna go to the capture screen and it's gonna use the adapter that it last had within the capture options so again if I go to control K you'll see here it's my gigabit adapter which is not active right so if I wanted to do this ahead of time I could select my USB docking station hit start and there you go now now I see data coming through the analyzer. Well, if I do control E now, that would be the stop button. And you know it's stopped because the stop button at the top now is grayed out. Again, I'll do control E and it's asking me do I want to save it? Nope. And you can see now that is not grayed out and then control E stops it. Good little one to know. Uh, the other popular one is you've started a capture and now you want to restart the capture because you may have started it prematurely or done some other things in the background that generated some unwanted traffic and that'd be control R and that simply starts I'm sorry stops and restarts the capture for you that's the capture screen so now that we've done our capture options I'll just stop this again with a control E and the big one now is going to be how to move around the packets well I can just move up and down with my arrow key as you can see but if I had my detail pane open as well, packet details, you might be down here somewhere and I might want to go to frame number seven. So how do you do that? Well, up and down doesn't do too much, does it? It just goes up and down. Well, control, if you use control key down or control key up, you move up and down the frame list, which is always nice to know. I think the last one you're going to probably want to know is go to packet. So if you've got a packet number you want to go to, you know, you've got a 10,000 uh, packet trace and you want to go to packet 300, control G is go to. And there's your go to. So in my case, I'll type in 14 and bang, I'm there. So just a couple of keys that I thought you might want to know about. Hope that helps. Enjoy and have a good day.